Right now, we are excited to have one of fashion's brightest rising stars who's adding author to her already impressive resume, Aura James. Debut memoir is called Wildflower, and it's been named one of the most anticipated books of the year. We're going to talk to her in just a moment, but first, here's her story. This morning, fashion guru Aurora James out with her new breakout book. It's really nice to see you guys. The memoir, Wildflower, telling the riveting story of Aurora's adolescence, activism, and running her sustainable fashion line, Brother Valise. American fashion is, and always will be, an all-hands-on-deck approach. Many eyes on Aurora after her captivating Instagram call-out back in 2020. The Post challenging retailers to commit 15% of their shelf space to black-owned businesses. That mission turning into a social justice movement. Recently named one of Glamour's Women of the Year, Aurora envisions economic equality for everyone, including entrepreneur Glory Edom, creator of Well-Read Black Girl. We're building a youth organization, we have a podcast, but at the center of it is really being of service for black women writers. Glory, who's now looking for mentorship, says uncertainty of how to scale her business is the biggest challenge. Growing Well-Read Black Girl independently and being completely self-funded has been challenging. I believe in the mission. I believe in the young people. I definitely believe in the writers and the funding, the organization, everything else is going to come in due time. Yes, it will. It's great to have with us now, or James, to GMA, and we're going to you're going to give some business advice, but can I just chat with you for a little bit before you do that? First of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. On everything, on everything. You've worked so hard and you've earned everything that's come your way. And you know, people are looking from the outside, success story. But you say, huh, wait just a minute. I love how you define success. Why do you say don't label yourself a success story? You know, I think these days we see so many big signs of what success is supposed to be, right? Mm -hmm. Especially for women. It's like breaking glass ceilings or, you know, doing all these things as entrepreneurs and being a certain level of success or being married or doing this or doing that. And I think for me, it was just so important to redefine success on my own terms because that's where I found my happiness, not just as an entrepreneur, but also as a woman, as a daughter, as a friend. Yeah, on your terms. On my terms. Not what someone else said was success. Absolutely. I know. Absolutely. Oh, oh, and the way you found your passion for fashion, and thank yeah. you so much for that. You said, but it came in an unlikely kind of way. Uh, ex explain that mm -hmm. and how you inspire others to find their path, whatever it may be. So I fell in love with fashion and, and launched my company really from traveling across Africa and meeting a bunch of artisans and really understanding that fashion could be so much more about expression and how we're feeling and our culture and also how we want to think about the world and support other people yeah. in the world versus just like trends that we need to be consuming all of the time. Talk a little bit more about that because sustainability, mm -hmm. I know that is very paramount to you and how as a consumer can we be a little more conscious? Yeah. I think we lose sight of how powerful we all actually are just in our own lives every day because every single dollar that we spend essentially is a vote for what we believe in. Mm. And I really believe that choosing sustainable choices, shopping small business, shopping women, shopping people of color is so important, not just to feed ourselves, but also to feed our entire country. Right? And tell people more about the 15% challenge because that yeah, really put you on the map yeah, when you did that yeah. in 2020. Yeah, so the 15% pledge was a call to action that I launched for major retailers to commit 15% of their shelf space mm -hmm. to black owned businesses and I posted it on social media it really took off we've signed 29 of the biggest retailers across the country mm. they all sign long-term contracts with us and over the past three years Robin we've put over 600 black owned brands onto the shelves of retailers across this country say that again how many over 600 wow. mm. and we're now in the process of moving over 10 billion with a B dollars of annual revenue to black founders. Could you have ever envisioned that when you when you put the challenge out there, the pledge? Honestly, and that's what it's about, right? It's yeah. about speaking truth to power, putting your ideas out there, being vulnerable, not being afraid and saying, hey world, like this is what I believe in. And I really believe that passion is contagious. And when we put ourselves out there, the world will kind of rally together around us. This is why 
you're one of Glamour's Women of the Year uh, Award. Let's go. Let's go over talk to Glory. We saw her in the piece. Yes. Thank you very much. Now watch the lip on the on the rug right here. We don't want to go. Hi, Hi Glory. Glory. How are you? This oh is Aurora. So good to see so you. So good to see you. So, so tell us a little bit more about your business. And I know you want to get some advice from this woman right yes, here. Yes, I do. So my name is Glory, and I'm the founder of Well Read Black Girl. And it started off as a book club. Most people know that on Instagram, but we've grown into an organization and we have a new summer camp launching this summer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's your question? So my question for you is, I'm so impressed with the way you've been able to grow your organization and keep community empowerment at the center and align your values, yeah. but those are so many things that are happening. How do you do it with balancing all of it? Oh my gosh. Well, I think when you really center purpose, which is something that you've done so well, people kind of naturally fit into that equation. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what it's really all about, right? Mm -hmm. Especially in 2023. It's like centering our goals and really being honest and, and getting out there. And you've just done such an incredible job of um, engaging the community and sharing stories and the 15% pledge is just such a huge fan of you. And we want to continue to see you succeed and we have a little surprise for you oh. as a result okay, of that. Okay, what's that? Lori, we want to give you a $10,000 oh, 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 oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so well deserved. You've done such an incredible, incredible, incredible work and we can't wait to see Well Read Black Girl continue to grow and thrive in the world. Thank we love you. Thank you so much, thank you. How will this help you? This work? will help us grow our summer initiative. We're launching this summer. We're going to be helping young girls. Oh, I think it's like, oh, this is so incredible. Uh -huh. Ages 11 to 13. And um, this is amazing. I think I'm just overwhelmed by this this opportunity. Thank you so much, Aurora. Thank oh, you. Thank you, Aurora. Thank you, Glory. This is what it's all about. I want one. I want one. <laughs> we love confetti here. Do you know what here right now? Thank you both. Thank you for your willingness to share your story. Congratulations on all you as well, Glory. And the memoir, Wildflower, is available now. Do yourself the hugest favor and pick it up. It is brilliant. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.